Welcome to this look at a new mod map to console on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Lubelska Delina. This is new to console. It had an update yesterday, Friday, the 2nd of October. Um, this has had a couple of change logs on PC. Um, we are starting, I do my map tools on um, New Farmer, and we start the map here in the middle of the road. But on New Farmer, the farm you start with is up the top here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk through some of the bits about the map to start off with prices, BGA, the sort of things I normally do. Then I'm going to jump up to the top and we're going to start our map tour from up there. Um, certain bits of journeys I will skip a little bit here and there, um, only because some of the driving takes a little while, but I will explain where I am when we get there and there are certain features that I want to kind of show. Um, this map is by Rajo Gplay. Um, it will use 471.77 megabytes to download. As you can see, big map, 190 fields I think it is, which range in price and, and vary considerably. On New Farmer you only start with um, the farm at the top uh, and the yard. No fields or anything like that. There are five farms, or farm yards on this map. Um, we've got chickens is where we start, there is um, the pig farm, we've got a sheep farm, um, horses, cows, um, they're all represented, you have to buy those, not necessarily to use them, um, each one has a silo, each of the silos holds 100,000 litres of product, um, and they range in price from 252,000 for the cows, horses 103,000, sheep 135,000, and the pig farm you do get the field there as well for 254. Um, the biogas plant you do have to buy and it's 132,384 if you want to use the biogas plant. Field prices vary um, hugely which is great. I like the fact you've got start off fields. Um, there was a really tiny one. Where was it? I've lost it now. 121. 23 grand. And then we got fields like 126 for 281. Uh, field 26 down the other down the side there, 450 gram, which is a fair size. Um, there's plenty of availability of forestry. Again, in sections, which are like chunks that you can buy up and do forestry if you want to have a go, but you haven't got to spend a fortune to get going in forestry if you want to have a go at forestry. Um, there are a couple of bits in the map that don't have cell points or anything on them, um, which are worth just having a drive around and investigate. I'm not going to be able to show you everything on the map tour. But I do want to say it's a cracking map um, with loads and loads of detail. And as you can see from the actual um, the, the PDA, the, the map itself, um, very much like the base game map PDAs. Nice and crisp, nice and clear, nice and detailed, um, which makes life very handy. Um, couple of things also to point out. What I'll do is I'll start walking up um, and then I'll jump up there but I need to explain a couple of things. So one of the updates for this on PC was adding seasons. With seasons added it puts frozen water, snow on the roads, um, masks for things and then it added some crop types. So you've got alfalfa, rye and triticale added onto this map. Um, it does show as lucerne but it's alfalfa, lucerne, interchangeable. Um, but here's the thing. Um, with seasons on, because there are the different types of grass, stages of grass, you cannot have seasons on and the add-on straw harvest or maize plus or any of those ones, which obviously doesn't affect us on console, but the add-on straw harvest does. So it does say info, if you want to play straw harvest DLC, maize or other mods which add new fruits, file types on the map, you must play without seasons because the map does not work with seasons because of the limit for fruits. Um, I did try and load this up with seasons and it, it won't load. Um, so you're going to have to make a choice, add on straw harvest without seasons um, or seasons without the add on straw harvest. It depends how you want to go about it on console. So while I'm walking up as well, um, as far as slot counts go, on New Farmer it's 902 out of 1299 but like I say the the detail on the map is incredible 
And as you can probably see already, it's very crisp and clean, and li like the PDA. PDF? P yeah, PDA. Um, it, I don't know. There's a real feel about this, and you'll see as we go around. I know this is going to sound weird. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, it does say this map is set in the east of Poland, more specifically in the Lublin region. Um, I get a real Italian feel. As I, as I was going around checking the map out, it feels... I know it's a, I know it doesn't make any sense at all, but I, you'll see as we go around. I don't know why. It just has a bit of an Italian feel to it. Now, if you come on here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, the slot count drops from 902 to 901 because you don't have the sleep trigger. Um, so still very high on both of those because you start on all three stages with all the machinery. If you remove all that machinery, you can get the slot count down to 803, which is still fairly high. But I would argue that I think you can start on this and play it. I mean, it depends how you want to play the game. I mean, in all honesty, it, that may, may be enough for people to say, well, that's it, I'm not playing it. Which, you know, you're more than entitled to say and do. That is the beauty of the game. Play it, don't play it, play it the way you want to play it, or don't. That's up to you. And as it's turned out, I didn't need to skip because we've walked all the way up. And we are now at the start farm. So we're kind of at the northern part of the map. And as you might have seen as we're going along, I mean, attention to detail. Things like coaches and buses, the fire station. You'll see as we go around, there's lots of little lakes. The colour palette works really well. Um, could it have had a lower slot count if there wasn't as much detail? Absolutely. But it's that trade-off as always. You either get a map with no detail and people say it's playable but it's a bit bland. Or you have lots of detail and then people will say it's not playable because the slot counts are high. I would argue with the machinery you start with, any map is playable. It's just, again, what you want to do machinery-wise. So, we are up at the start farm up here. Field 14 and 13 are just over there. That's north. Our sleep through the night trigger is just here. And that is the only mod available. There are no other mods on this map. Um, sometimes the map makers will put mods in of buildings and you know uh, barns and animal livestock pens. The livestock pens and farms are fixed in place. But you can move your sleep trigger and put it anywhere on the map to be your start farm. That is entirely up to you. So if I go up to that now, I'm not tired but it is there. Um, all of the barns open and all of them have lighting. The other thing I noticed as I went round, um, and you'll see as we go around, um, is the difference in every single farmyard. The difference in buildings and textures. Again, probably another reason why the slot count's fairly high, is it's not all that kind of fixed one texture for everything kind of thing. There's a real difference as we go around in barns and buildings and all that kind of thing which is it's brilliant i love it um so this is the chicken farm that you start with if we open this up our buy sell point for our chickens is just there and their feed trigger is just here now i'm making a, an assumption a leap here that because that's the hazard marked box that's where the egg boxes are going to spawn because I'm just outside of that and I'm getting the trigger come up for dialogue and that's inside so I think that's where the egg pallets are going to spawn and in this building here we've got our silo so here's our silo 100,000 litre capacity and the silos are different as we go around a couple of them are inside buildings and some are outside that leads out to the road just out there um, now as far as starting equipment on all three um, modes we have got a Massey Ferguson Drop Nose Massey 5610, a New Holland T6125, the Bison Super. We've got an L218 New Holland Skid Steer Loader, a TD, TDK1600 Trailer, header for the Bison. Uh, we've got a Cultivator, Subsoiler, Cedar, um, a Fertilizer and Herbicide Sprayer. We've got a Round Baler, Bucket and then the sleep trigger. And like I say, the sleep trigger is the only difference between New Farmer, Farm Manager and Start From Scratch. You don't have that on the other two settings but it is located if we go to placeables down in farmhouses you'll see that the sleep trigger is there available should you want to move it um, again that would be your choice um, what we're going to do is uh, grab probably the new holland i think it's a little bit faster than the uh
than the Massey. I think the Massey is 26 and this is 32, I think. Yeah, 32. Right. So, leaving the yard, and this is another one that's got a main... The main reasons for doing a map tour, one, to show people where all the cell points are and triggers and things like that, you know, if you can, but it's also to get just a feel for the map and, you know, what it looks like and what we'll do is we'll head north, first of all, taking the first of the cell points we're going to have a look at. There are real um, different kind of zones, I feel, to the map as well. Um, and the cell points are big industrial kind of complexes but again loads and loads of detail lorries and trailers and vehicles parked up and the, like I said the attention to all of that is huge um, and we've got a lot of these spots around the map where you've got kind of dips in the ground that terrain change and thing I think all adds to the whole the whole feel so that is the first of our cell points so we've been up here at the farm um, so this is LDSPZOO. Um, if we go along to our cell points and scroll down to that one, this is one of our main cell points that buys most crop types as we scroll across. Uh, the barn that we're going to go to, which is up in the northwest, will take usual barn related um, crop types products. Um, the main cell points we've got uh, Gora, Lubelska, the LD where we are now, Plak PGR, and then we've got uh, Zaklad, Rajtek, Kamilaki, I think it is. Apologies if I've said that wrong or poorly. Um, and then the other ones mixed in, we've got Sawmill, Spinnery, which are your obvious cell points, Dairy Station, and then uh, Kukravnia, I think it is, buys sugar beets, potatoes, sugar cane, and eggs. But we will get around to those and I'll show you them as we go around. So from here we're going to head south a little bit, we're going to go to the main store. The main store is also the reset point so if you should get anything stuck, rolled over, the usual kind of, or you just feel like you want to reset back to there because it's easier than driving, which some people do, um, then that's where the reset point is. Um, the topography of this map is also fantastic, it's, it's got a, a brilliant feel to it there are lots of undulations um, and the edges of the map the way it's been done it, it has a real feel that it just goes on and on it blurs off in the distance which you kind of go with that kind of it's a bit of a haze um, our buy point is just here cash point just there and then we've got our configure sell repair point just around the corner here um, that's the main store. What we're going to do is head out of here and go this way first. So, so a couple of bits of this journey we will, I will cut out because we're going to re go over our steps again. But if we go east now, we're going to head to the spinnery. And the reason that you go back over yourself is uh, some of these cell points. There's not a circuit road that runs all the way around. It, it is a very out and back on certain parts of this, uh, which again some people love, some people don't. The out and back feel makes the map feel a lot bigger, I, I've always felt. Um, but the cell point there for your spinnery, for your wool and cotton, is just there. You see, looking off ahead, it just has that feel like it goes on and on and on. It doesn't have that, you know, there is a map edge, of course there is, but... I don't know, it, it, it's... I really like this one. Like I say, oddly, it doesn't feel Polish. I, I know... There'll be lots of Polish people arguing that, they, you know, I've only been to one place in Poland, so I can't speak for the whole of Poland. So what we're going to do now is head east, no, west, up into the northwest. There's a few little ponds and lakes and these little boats, like covered boats on the various different ones. I looked and felt they were little islands to start with, but they're not. So the next sail point we're coming up, we've got a lot of um, hop hangers as well, if you look here. There's lots of these hangers for growing hops dotted about. Tracks and pathways crisscross the map. So we come around to the next cell point, which is just here. Let's go back to here. So we've gone from there, store, spinnery. We've now come back across and we are at Plaque PGR. We're going to head out to the barn and then the journey back um, I will cut and we'll kind of rejoin as we're coming back down 
the road here I th think is the best the best thing it, it is a big map anyway um, and it's going to take a while to get round it but I want to show you as much as I can because to kind of again by accident I, I, as I've already said I won't be able to show you everything um, and as I was going around looking I took a couple of shortcuts here and there, there and there are some brilliant features some really nice bits um, little almost kind of like escarpments hillocks and and buildings and little sort of settlements I suppose in a way so the barn cell point again huge it's, none of the, the cell point stuff on here are small this is big industrial scale stuff so the barn cell point is just inside the building here and we are in the northwest corner of the map now so we can head back out to the road and I will see you in a minute just south of the store we are heading south now the store is just behind us a little kind of lake on the right hand side um, I meant to say the chicken coop holds a hundred chickens I have taken the time to I went and checked each one and filled them up to see what they would hold it has an incredibly natural feel to it this map So we're going to take a left just here. Look at the, the view off into the distance. I don't know. It's, it's very good. It's been very, very well done. I could have just driven through that person, but that would be bad form. So, pig farm. And as you can see already, Buildings completely different to the farm we start at. Different textures, different building blocks, materials. Um, again, all of the buildings, pretty much, I think, in, in the farms have all got lighting. So as we come across, all the barns and buildings open now. I haven't found any workshop triggers anywhere other than at the main um, store. So none of these barns and buildings have a workshop trigger, unless I've missed one. But even that, look. The weather vane. Looks like a stalk. Just little details like that, you know, you kind of pick up all the way around. Another silo. Now, this is the other interesting point. You do start off with crops on New Farmer. But they're not in the silo at the farm you start at. They're in this silo here at the pig farm. Weirdly, I don't know why. Um, and as I said, each of the silos around in each of the yards all hold 100,000 litres each. Um, so, yeah, your crops are in this one for some reason. Not too sure why. Um, pigs. Let's open that up. I bet any money like it was the other end. I'm trying to remember where the triggers were. There we go. Buying, selling, loading, unloading of your pigs is done from here. Troughs are in the inside. On the inside. Slurry point is just here. And the manure point is just over the other side of this, the pen round there. We'll jump across the pen. Um, the pigs will hold 100. There we go. That's your pig pen and the farm for the pigs. Actually, I didn't. I just thought I'd better check this because I didn't check this building when I did my look round earlier. Just in case there is a workshop trigger somewhere that I'm missing, I'm pretty sure they're all they're all just shelters and buildings. But there is loads of barn shelter space. Right, back to the tractor and heading on. We're going to head east again. Next stop is the sheep farm. And again, as you can see with the terrain, I love this kind of sweep off down the hill. The fields can be kind of blended together. Um, I know that a lot of them have trees and there are telegraph poles and stuff in the way, but it's, it's got that feel, you know. I like the fact you can build up. It looks amazing, really does. So, turning in here, now your, your farm doesn't have to be at one of the prescribed farms. So I say, because you've got the uh, sleep trigger, you can place it anywhere you like on the map. So, sheep farm, again. 
completely different style of buildings to the chickens and the um, pig, pigs. It's amazing. All the barns and buildings open and our trigger is here for sheep. Buying, selling, loading or unloading. Feed and water trough. I think the feed trough's in here. The water trough is around the side just here. Another silo just there. Again, 100,000 litre capacity. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. We have had a lot of Polish maps recently. And I'm not knocking any of them. But I really like this one. I, not that I didn't like the others. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? You know what I mean. You can probably, you know, you can get the feel. It reminds me a bit of, um, was it Deterra Italica? On um, FS17. That's probably why I'm getting that Italian kind of feel. I don't know why. Isn't it odd? Um, right, we're going to go left here. And we'll come back around to the other points later. But as you look across, there's a little escarpment, little pond down there. We're going to head out towards the biogas plant. Then out and around to the southeast of the map. To the lime station and there's another cell point. But the biogas plant is fair size for the price. Two huge um, bunker silos. But again, with some really original detail. Because you kind of come and you think, okay, yeah, you know, bunk, the BGA, biogas plant, two big bunker silos just there. But the actual containers themselves, look at the, the stone walling around it. That's not your, again, that's been textured over, that's not your standard plonk, there's your, your you know, your digester tanks. It looks brilliant. Um, and then you've got your digestate tank, your byproduct tank collection point is just here. Familiar enough for it to be, yes, this is a biogas plant, but different enough to say this is something new, you know. So, we are now heading southeast. Big lake on our left hand side. Again, a few little boats dotted about. Phenomenal scenery. Although, interestingly, on this lake, and it is a lake, it's not a. I don't think there's a river that joins to it. It's a big old boat, like a shipwreck. <laughs> I don't know how it got there. And we're kind of coming through another part of forest. It's that kind of blend between kind of the forest down to water and out to the fields. Probably is what gives you that feel. And we're coming into a whole different kind of section of the map again. That's why I said it kind of feels like it's got sectors. This is a real industrial part. Um, with big buildings, um, homes like blocks of housing. So we're going to head into the southeast corner now. As you can see, look, it's a real different feel to what we've seen already. More built up. Very cool. So pretty much in the southeast corner, not quite in the southeast corner, but not far off. We come to the next of the cell points, which is just here. So we have come all the way down here. We did the pig farm. We came around the corner. We did the sheep farm. We then came down and along to the biogas plant. Out from the biogas plant, past the lake, and then down here, we are in the southeast corner. We are at Zaklad Raj Tech uh, Milaki, sorry. Um, that's the cell point right now, and then the lime station is just a little bit further south of us. There's a huge lime pile. I tried that with a trailer, and when you back up to it, it just comes up with a start filling. But again, the detail, all the lorries and trailers and wheel loaders, and you know, it. it feels like it's a that, that stuff's happening you know it doesn't feel clinical so from here actually I'm thinking I'm going to go out this side and we're going to take a shortcut we're going to take the shortcut because it was one I took off camera and when I it was it was that kind of wow 
I haven't really come across something like this before. I mean, you know, again, say again, um, it was very almost sort of snow runner esque, and it's incredible. So, as you come through this section of forest, and we come to the low lying land here, you've got a kind of washed out marshy area you drive through. It's brilliant. One of those things, again, I've said on loads of map tours, if it wasn't there, you wouldn't know. It wouldn't, you know, because it would, if it's not there, you would never know it was supposed to be. But the fact it is just adds something, you know, it just adds a bit more. Right, we're going to head back up this road that we're on now, this track, leads us back up to the biogas plant. So I will see you there in a moment, and we'll carry on from there. Joining the road back at the biogas plant now heading northwest we're going to take this little track off to the side just going to help us cut across a little bit here we're going to come into the, the back part of the um, horse farm stables cutting just here so the actual um, pasture paddock is here triggers for water and feed are just there and our trigger for buying selling loading or unloading of horses is just through on this side marked out on the ground there this is one of the ones I think has a silo inside the building it does, I remember correctly. That's good. <laughs> good to know. Again, 100,000 litres. Buildings and barns all around, all open for storage of whatever you want to store. Varying different sizes again, different textures. It is brickwork, but it's white brickwork. Um, yeah, it's all slightly different. And that's brilliant. Right, back in the tractor. That's your horse farm. Uh, we're going to head out of here onto the main road and almost directly opposite on the main road in that direction is the cow farm. Which will, we will have done all five then, I think. Chickens, pigs, sheep, horses, yeah. And then the cows. I'll come back and close the gate later, don't worry. Um, now, the um, sheep and the sheep hold 100, I didn't mention that. The horses will hold 10. So we've got 100 chickens, 100 pigs, 100 sheep, 10 horses. The interesting one actually is here um, at the cows. Again, lots of buildings. A completely different design style again. More whitewashed walls. Um, there's a little track that runs up around the side and there's a little raised bit up there with a couple more barns and shelters up around the back there. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Milk point is just here. So when your cows have produced their milk, that's where you collect it from. Bunker silo, just there. Trigger for buying, selling, loading or unloading for the cows is just here. All the others are 100, the cows are only 15. Because when they there's no pasture, they're all inside the building here. Now I know some map makers and modders will just do that whole kind of, oh it doesn't matter because you only see some in there anyway, we'll put 500 in there. I think they've gone down the route of saying, well look, you wouldn't have more than that in a building this size maybe because there's no outside pasture. Your feed and water troughs are just here. Uh, straw point, I think, is at this end here. And I say, there's no outside pasture. So they are just inside, and they're only 15. Slurry point is just there. Manure point is here. Uh, 
and you've got another silo there which will take 100,000 litres. So that's all of the animal pens and like I say they are all fixed in place you can't do anything about that um, you could buy up some land elsewhere and add pens in of course you can that would be your prerogative I haven't been around the map testing all the plots everywhere to see where things are placeable and where things aren't again sometimes maps are very receptive to placeables others aren't um, and the fact that the slot count is fairly high on this map anyway there would be a limit to how many you would feasibly be able to do, I suppose, anyway. Right, heading south from there. We've got fuel station. We're going to head up the hill, which is actually fairly steep. Ooh. So some more sail points and then we've got three or four maybe left to do including the sawmill so we're going to do a sweep round like a horseshoe round back and again looking out over the landscape it, ju it, it just looks like and feels like it goes on and on and on now there are elements of this as well that i'm again i'm not going to show you because it's time wise and stuff as well but if you look off the left there that track goes off and you've got that hilltop over there haven't been up there yet haven't even been to have a look but it's something to explore um and, and i love that It's also like these fields here. In fact, they just stretch off and up the hill, off they go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We are, currently. We went from there, all the way around, up past biogas plant, along here to the horses. We've done the horses, we've done the cows, past the fuel station. All the way up here, we are now at Elevator Gora Lubelska. Um, that's the bit up on the hillside that I haven't been to, haven't shown you, but that could be your start farm if you wanted it to be. And these are the fields we just had a look at, they kind of go off into the distance. So the cell point here, it's one of the main cell points. And it's just tucked away there. Now I haven't come across any buy points for seed, fertilizer, those kind of things. So it would be either pallets and things from the store, or if you want to put placeable seed refill points and things like that, there are plenty available in the mod hub. We are now coming up on the livestock market. Again. Loads of detail. And something different. It's not your standard plonk, there's a livestock market. Because look at this. You can go into any one of these with your vehicle. And it opens up the trigger. So you can really kind of simulate collecting your livestock however you want. I love that. Um, and then we've got our dairy station cell point, which is just here, tucked around the corner. From here. We are going to head a little bit east and then north. taking some more of the stunning scenery now that sign there goes up the road which seems to go on and on and on forever but behind the woodland just over there on the map there's another little village built up area again I haven't been over there yet and there's no cell point or anything over there but again something to explore if you want that to be where your start farm is or whatever you know it's brilliant. So we're coming up on the cell point. This is the one that does. Um, this is the sugar factory um, that will do sugar beet, potatoes, sugar cane, and eggs. Wasn't it? I think it was. Pretty sure. The cell point is round here. Just there. So from here, so that's it, you go, look, on the map. So we, so we came round, we were looking across past those trees, that's all there. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, Kugrovnia, is it? And now on to the sawmill, which is the last of our cell points we're going to be having a look at.
So there should be a little turning just up here. There we go. Through the trees. Another lake on our right hand side through the trees. And turning right, we are at the sawmill. This section through here is your sell point for your lumber. Now the crane doesn't work. Um, I did try to go up the steps and you just fall through them. So yeah, the crane's not one of the ones you can unload with. The actual sell point trigger is just there for your lumber, which is in this section here. And then our wood chip sell point is just through there. Loads of detail on here as well. So there's your wood chip sell point. Just there. So we'll go around that way. Out onto the tarmac road. And we're heading back out from the trees. Which do go on. Up into the forest area. Further up. One last little bit. I just want to, I just want to drive past. Because again on my way out when I was looking around the map. I came across it and thought oh, that's cool. Nice little. Again just a little feature. Just something just added in. Which I think was brilliant. is this the man at work sign like a fallen tree the tree's gone down in the road just something to have on there it's great I think it's fantastic and then we're coming back on the road back into the sort of main town where we went across the crossroads where the, the fuel station was and we've got the cow farm just there and that's it we've been round the map we've been round the cell points um, the various different farms had a look at the landscape topography the textures that you know got a nice feel for it and like I said there are still parts of this map I haven't even been to look at um, and that's part of the joy of a new map is exploring new places having a look finding all these things um, and seeing where your let's play takes you um, that is Lubelska Dolina by Rajo G Play um, the slot count may put some people off. It is playable. Um, you just have to be kind of cunning and clever with your slots and that kind of thing if you want to. I think the map's got a bit of everything. It's a really nice, clean, crisp, like I said, right at the start map. And it, it's got some fantastic features in it. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.